What's going down folks, it's your boy C23 back on the sticks once again with another NCAA 14 football video for you guys and as you can see they kind of did us dirty in this one. Going into the bowl week we were ranked number 2 overall and somehow in the bye we ended up at the number 3 spot so unfortunately our chances at a national title this year are not happening. We're going to have to settle for the Orange Bowl but just taking a quick look at it just to see who made it to the title game it's Ohio State and Louisville and ironically enough our one and only loss this season came from Ohio State, so that has to be the reason that we got knocked out. But if I'm remembering this right, Ohio State had one loss as well, so they got in, we didn't. I guess at the end of the season it was just a toss-up, so we're just going to need to refocus and come back even stronger next season to see if we can get this done. Anyway though, let's get into the gameplay. Coming out on offense, Golson with the option, keeping the ball, running it downfield for a nice 10-yard pickup. Then on first and 10, Golson takes the snap, drops back, looking downfield, connects with Cook in the flat, and Cook comes up a little bit shorter, picking up the first down, bringing up a second and in inches, and then Golson just gives it to him. Cook takes off, and he's out running every LSU defender all the way to the end zone for the score, and then dives in for the touchdown. So that's the way that we get this one started, folks. We're on the board early 7 to nothing. Now we need to get a spark from our defense. How does our defense come out here and respond? On first and 10, Jennings with a clean pocket connects with Johnson for a nice pickup of about nine on the play. So they're looking at second and one now. Jennings comes out with play action and just throws it in the dirt. I don't know what that was. So now they're looking at third and one. They try to go with the handoff to Fournette, and Fournette gets leveled in the backfield, bringing up a fourth and inches, and our defense rises up to the challenge. He thought he could get the edge there, but our defense is flowing sideline to sideline, making plays. And on our very next drive, Golson drops back and connects with Wilson wide open in the middle of the field for an easy touchdown score, 47 yards on the reception. And yes, I did say touchdown score. I know that sounds kind of weird, but we're just going to keep that take and keep it rolling as Wilson just got right behind the DB for an easy catch and just walked in untouched. So we go up in this one 14 to nothing, getting back on defense. Jennings going with the option here has nothing but green grass, jukes my defender, and ends up picking up nine on the play. So we're looking at another second and one now. They decide to go back to the option play, but this time we're ready for it. Jennings goes down, actually loses a yard on the play, bringing up a third and three situation. Then we dial up a little bit of heat, bringing the corner on a blitz, forcing Jennings to get rid of it. And he throws it to the sidelines for a completion, but it's short of the first down. Moving things ahead a bit, picking up in the red zone, handing the ball off to Cook, trying to attack that right edge, but we go nowhere on the play bringing up a second and goal, going back to the run game here, handing the ball off to Cook, who rumbles for a couple of yards, but still comes up short of the goal line. So bringing up third and goal, we just toss it over to Cook, and this time he's able to punch it in. So we're up in this one early, 21 to nothing, but there's plenty of game left, and you know LSU is going to do their best to come back, because in their very next play, Jennings breaks into the open field, running it all the way in for a touchdown, kind of glitching there at the end. But they get on the board 21 to 7 now and we have a little bit of a ball game so we have to come out here and execute and try to play smart football handing the ball off there to cook for a one yard gain and this is why he only got one yard on that play what is number 78 doing in this play folks maybe one of you guys can explain to me what he's doing because to me it just looks like his assignment on this play was to block no one and he did a phenomenal job so much so on the very next play I start to anticipate pressure that's not there and just throw the ball in the coverage and give it right back to LSU. And then they immediately capitalize on the turnover. Jennings breaking out to the open field. I had to take over the linebacker there just to save the touchdown. But a couple plays later on third and goal, Jennings scrambles in the pocket and throws a dot. Oh my goodness. Tyron Johnson making a 13-yard catch in the back of the end zone for a touchdown. That was a pretty nice play. So how do we come out and respond to that? Golson tells Jennings, okay, you want to run? We can do that too. Taking off and running downfield for a huge pickup. I think he got 18 or 19 on the play. A couple plays later on second and 11, Golson dumps it off to Cook for another first down. Keeping it simple, moving the chains. That's all we're doing out here. Trying to get the ground game working. It's just not happening today. Beside from that touchdown in the first quarter, we haven't really done much on the ground, folks. It's just been a problem. LSU's really stepped it up in the second half. So we go with the pass play to Saunders there for a nice pickup, setting us up in the red zone. We just come out and hand the ball off, and Pender runs it in for a score. So things are getting pretty interesting, folks. If you're checking out the score, we're 28-21 at the end of the fourth quarter. With 33 seconds left in regulation, they're just coming out throwing dots. Washington with a nice catch on the sideline, and then Jennings on first and 10. 
dropping it in the bucket to Dupree for a nice 28-yard touchdown. So LSU rallied all the way back in this one, folks, sending us to overtime. So we get the first crack at overtime. You guys know the overtime rules in the NCAA, so there's no need for me to go into it. So we come out just looking to chip away, connecting with Cook there for a nice pickup of eight on the play, bringing up a second and two. Golson's in the gun, making a couple line checks, takes the snap and dumps it short to Cook once again. But the pass is broken up by the defense, bringing up third and two. Once again, going short, dumping it off to Saunders, who makes the catch, and we're moving the chains, keeping the drive alive. Now, a couple plays later on second and seven, Golson's making a couple adjustments at the line of scrimmage, takes the snap, looks downfield, and fires a strike to Saunders for the score. So we get on the board first in overtime, folks. How does our defense respond? Well, we kind of, I mean, we tried, right? By the time I used the safety, the running back was already in the end zone, so... We give up the score, but we have another chance on defense to come out and get a stop. So LSU with the ball first. I send pressure, and man, everybody else up downfield, forcing Jennings to get rid of it, bringing up a second and 10 off the incomplete pass. So next, they dial up the screenplay, but we're in perfect position to cover that, shutting that down for no gain. So on third and 10, a stop right here will be huge. They take the snap. Jennings has all day in the pocket and then throws it in the coverage. The pass is broken up. Our defense does a great job only holding them to a field goal try, which of course, they end up knocking it through. But we get a chance here, folks. If we can get a score, we can walk out of here with a W. And of course, I'm talking about scoring a touchdown. So on second and one, Golson sees something in the defense, audibles out of the run play, dumps it off to Cook for a nice pickup. That was a smart read by Golson. Bringing up a first and 10, Cook gets the handoff and takes all kinds of punishment before being brought down after gaining seven. So it brings up a second and three situation now. Golson again orchestrating the line of scrimmage, seeing something in the defense he's trying to take advantage of, lining up in the shotgun, taking the snap, surveying the field. He has a man, fires a pass over to Campbell, and that is the ball game, folks. And that was a mismatch from the jump. Golson saw that he had Campbell matched up against a linebacker, then checked into a pass play and fired a dart over to Campbell. And we walk out of here with a W. We end up taking this one 41 to 38 over the LSU Tigers. And this was a pretty crazy game, folks, coming down to the wire and overtime. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Anyways, folks, that's all the time I got in this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Once again, make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'm signing off, and I'll see you in the next one.